plaintiff, Barbara Johnson, dated the defendant. Despite the fact that she's 72 and he's 55, Barbara claims while dating, she had no idea that the defendant had a live-in girlfriend. And even though they are no longer dating, she claims they were intimate a few months ago. She's suing him today for a loan. Defendant Darren Hensley insists he and Barbara never dated and were never intimate. However, Darren claims Barbara was extremely jealous and often caused a scene when she saw him with another woman. Darren denies owing Barbara for anything. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Let's start with you. First of all, I'm 72 years old. If you can look at me. All right. Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> you doing it. OK. I wasted three and a half years on you. How old is he? 55. <laughs> you doing it. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry, Judge Aaron. I'm very upset. What years were you all together? Um, April to 27, 2013. OK, and when did you all break up? I don't know. Because okay. we still seeing each other. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. And what was the relationship like, or what is it like, or what, beginning from 13, what have things been like? Where did you meet him? And how did you all become in, well, uh, involved? Well, I met him at 7 uh, Eleven. He was so fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he, he told me, he saw me in line. He said, Girl, you're so fine and beautiful. I said, Thank you. Okay. And we, continue from that okay. day and on. How were things? Did it, you all move in together? Then? No, no. Okay. Um, he, uh, he, he, was, he had a living girlfriend I didn't know anything about, okay, until I fell in love with him. Okay. And then uh, after that, um, I just was in dealt love with him. It. I just continued And uh, what was it like? He was a nice guy? He could be so sweet and sexy at times, and he can be a other times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And you all haven't broken up. When is the last time you all been involved with each other? September the 14th. And yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. September the 14th. Um, I sent him a text message and I told him I was sick and tired of the foolishness. Now I'm talking about getting together in a positive way. <laughs> September 14th. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you said you were, you sent him a text message saying what? That I was moving on, that I wanted somebody else. And, and he told me, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> and he showed up at the door, or how did you well, all? Well, he started calling me, which I have proof here, mm -hmm. at one something in the morning mm -hmm. and asked me to come pick him up. And I told him, no, I wasn't going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and so he said, uh, well, he wanted to talk to me. And I said, no, I don't, we don't need to talk. Mm -hmm. So he, um, he asked me to come again to come pick him up, and I told him no. Well, he ended up in the driveway, and he asked me to open the door, and I told him no. And he asked me again, and I said, well, he said, you just want to talk to me. I said, okay, I open the door. <laughs> and you saw that, and you saw that, you, you saw that smile, and you saw that fine specimen of a man, Judge and you Ron, just melted away. Judge, I love that man. Oh, Lord. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love him. But I cannot put up with the foolishness. I'm ready to just, just give it up, because okay. you're not worth the drama. You're a strong lady to profess that type of love and still no, be I, able I, to walk away. I told away. him. I, he say, I say, babe, I'm telling you the honest truth. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love him. He but you love so yourself more. There yeah. you go. So you give me some background. Let him give me some background. I met Barbara a few years ago. Uh, me and her became friends. We talked. We, you know, we did things together like we were on different events together because we associated with the same riding clubs. Uh, Barbara and I just. You all didn't become. Uh, Lovers or whatever? Uh, to, I was not aware I was ready to be lovers. <laughs> I thought we were just friends. Then were you intimate? No. You've never been intimate? We have been in social relations and talk, but no, we ain't about just being intimate like that. I mean... Like what? 
Like what, sexually? No. Yeah, you just talk. Yeah, we always talked and hung around and kicked around. We okay. go to trail rides. That's your response to me saying, have you been intimate? Your response to me is that you just talked. Yeah, we and talked and we hung out. Okay. That answer has nothing to do with intimacy. Now, once again, did you ever get intimate with her? Tell no. Truth. There you go. That's a good answer. And that's the way you answer that question. He said, slept with me for two weeks after we got together. All right. So let's stop lying. Tell he the truth. He says he never has. What else? You, what other background you want to give me, other sir? Other background. Barbara became very dramas, and she saw me in different very places. Very what? She became dramatic. And she saw me in places like at a event or something. She'll walk up and ask me, who is this woman you're with? Who is this girl? And what would you say? i say, this is a friend. What difference does it make to you? Right. I mean, we're not together like that. Correct. Oh, and she was still continue still to act? act, act right. out in their place. It was uh, mm-hmm. at one event. She would call me all kind of names. And at that point in time, I refused Why did it. she do that? Oh, I was a young lady. And she started going off on you? She went off uh-huh. on me, told me I was a dog and all other kind of things that you call a man. What did you say then? Because say much, Yana. Know? Associated with the same riding clubs. Uh, Barbara and I just... You all didn't become uh, lovers or whatever? I was not aware of really being lovers. <laughs> I thought we were just friends. Then were you intimate? No. Plaintiff Barbara Johnson says she and the defendant dated and had sex a few months ago. But the defendant insists they never dated and were never intimate. You didn't say, why are you saying this? We don't no, date. No, I looked there because I didn't want to cause no drama in the event with that. I ride with a club. Okay. So I didn't want to make any drama. So what you think? You think she need to get checked out or something because she's doing all this and you I all never been in and out. she just comes after you, uh, claiming you as her man and disrupts things that are going on with you when she sees you. Yes, sir. Based yeah. on her belief on that her, you are her, her man. Belief. Yes. All right. Let me tell you yes. why I cussed him out. Mm-hmm. You had he had been with me all that night till that morning. When we went to the trail ride, he I catch him with somebody else. What would you do? Okay. You are out of order, Darren. Hires, you are straight up out of order. Okay. Stop lying. That's all Hires you do is order. lie. That's order. all you I do is lie you. and cheat. I've been but the guess same. what? I'm on TV to tell you I'm done with you, baby. <laughs> Okay. I am done with you. That's, Don't you come to my house or nowhere else near me. I'm done. That's a good pleasure. Thank Did you. Did you show up at her house recently, as she says? September she came 14th. And me, she came by as a friend and gave me a ride to the doctor one night. Uh, we were at Parkland Hospital in Dallas. <laughs> and she gave me a ride to Parkland because I have a sinus infection. We got there. Uh, I offended her because the lady at the hospital asked me to take my clothes off. And Barbara tried to undress me. I said, you ain't my wife. You can't do this. And that offended her, so she... Went off the change then. All right. I said, did you ever show up at her house recently as she alleged? And you talking oh, about some? She house, undressed then. you at the hospital <laughs> because of a <laughs> sinus infection. Maybe you the one need to get checked out. Now, well, maybe I do. Now, <laughs> answer that question. Did you show up at her house as she alleges recently? No, I haven't. Okay. Did I, did, where did you get this other answer because from? It, I mean, she... All right, ma'am, you're suing him about a loan. Let's get to the loan. And Unless you have some evidence that... I have the evidence where I have a contract with All right. Signed. Did you agree to pay her some money, sir? If you read the contract, Yanni, you'll see where it says a verbal agreement made between her mm-hmm. and uh, the gentleman, the alleged gentleman that's on there. It's made for him and her. I was at the bank with her to pick up to receive the money. She know where the money went to. Signature so- of the first party. What's your name? My name is Darren Hensley. And that's who the first party is. <laughs> and that's who signed it. I signed it. All right, ma'am. Prove to me that you all dated, because somebody's telling me a blatant lie. Let's here's, see what this says. Here's where he called me on the 14 before you came to my house mm-hmm. about 21 times. About 21. Why were you calling her so many times, sir? Because me and her had spoken about uh, this incident. She asked me, I got in touch. What incident? With, uh, on the money loan. Okay. And she has asked me if I spoke to the gentleman who... So asked, why'd you call her 21 times? A person that why I is old money, times? they would call you 21 well, sir, times. Sir, but why returned, would you call her 21 times she returned, on that I night? I returned her phone calls. What? As the proof. I returned calls with she... 21 times? <laughs> you returned her phone call 21 phone times call. in one night? You must be high. Are you a crackhead? <laughs> Are you a crackhead? Since you want to talk to me like I'm silly, I'm going to talk to you the way you're acting. 
Thank you. Only crackheads call people at night 21 times. Since you want to talk to me like I'm silly, I'm going to talk to you like I'm real. Are you a crackhead because you act like one? No. All right. Well, stop acting like one. 2,500 is your judgment. Thank you. Whatever you're talking about, about your buddy or friend, <laughs> your name is on here as the first party signator to this contract. Judgment for the plaintiff, $2,500. Thank you, baby. To say to her, Barbara, I don't have any offense against you or anything, but you really take things very much out of proportion. No, it's, no, it's you need to tell the truth, baby. You came so. there on on um, on the twenty first at two something in the morning, Barbara, and you um, left seven thirty in the morning. Don't I, lie. I don't have to lie about you. I, I mean, love I, you, Darren, but I'm done with you. I don't okay. have nothing to do with you. Yes, ma'am. Come to my house, and I'm calling the police. That's fine. I'm not having any reason to come to your house. I haven't been coming there. Oh, it's, it's fine. Boy, Barbara. stop it.